or Boston News. Now with advertisements, Big Dump N, Gay DC, and GOP, Eating Blocks and Dogs and Other Disorders, Now the News, or Bust Style. Kettle said, say what to the pot? Quote, the reconciliation rules have never been used, end quote, repeated Orrin Hatch, Republican of Utah, over and over on Meet the Press, proving that the GOP is more redundant than Little Wayne, who is now serving a one-year sabbatical in Rikers Island on gun charges. The reconciliation rules have never been used, end quote. Really? Do any parents remember the S-chip bill that brought health care to uncover children? That was brought to you by the Dems and Obama via reconciliation. How about Bush's tax cuts for the wealthy, adding $1.7 trillion to our national debt? Yep, holier-than-thou Republicans used reconciliation for that one, too. They only do good. Republicans only want freedom to protect us, to eliminate government, and to use swarmy tactics whenever they need to. Reconciliation is a ruse so Republicans can object to the process rather than the health care bill that most of their wants are included. That's right, 8 of 10 of the Republicans' top wants and demands for health care reform are in the package. Um, what do you say to them? Corey, Corey, we hardly, hardly know ye. Two bad Dems, who called reconciliation the nuclear option under Bush, are wimps trying to help the sick and needy whose votes only count once, while the GOP, who call Obama a racist Mexican woman, care only about fiscal responsibility and freedom, or corporate donors and, ga and regaining power. Red-handed. A report in the Wall Street Journal shows insurance companies are raising rates dramatically due to a lack of competition. Too bad those big mean Dems recently stripped decades-old antitrust exemptions from our caring health care providers, insurers, blood-sucking swine. Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius recently sent out letters to the nation's largest insurers demanding that they justify rate hikes of up to 39% after posting multi-billion dollar profits last year. One response read, Dear Secretary Sebelius, you already know insurance doesn't exist will deny you anyway. Fuck off. Yours truly, the industry. Iraq elections. Compared to when Saddam was elected, then had his opponents escorted outside to be executed, Iraq's elections for a new National Assembly this weekend didn't go too bad. Only 24 people died, based on preliminary reports, and there were several bombings which were called mostly ineffective by security troops. Everything's awesome. Even evil Shiite leader Muqtada al-Sadr was campaigning. Democracy has been installed. hoo -ah. One question. When should we expect repayment for liberating you? Huh. In related news, gas prices have been rising 10% each week. If only we could find an ally with a huge load of oil. Huh. Think about that. Now a word from our sponsors. Tired of big government? Elected officials who don't listen? Well, so is Stu. Free bones and belly rubs for all. Votes do this fall, voters' best friend. Paid for by tea buyers, tethers, and no Nazis everywhere. Big Dumb Ben. Quote, We anticipate interviewing him at a certain point in the next couple of days. End quote. Said Police Chief Woodrow Blue of the ongoing investigation into whether Steelers QB Ben Roethlisberger raped someone again. Yep, Woodrow Blue is going to get down to the bottom of what happened last Friday in a rural Georgia nightclub. That means a back-ass juke joint. Quote, Ben is completely innocent of any crime, end quote, said the two-time Super Bowl champion QB's attorney, of course. Yet the fact that his client also has a civil complaint filed against him for another completely innocent incident in Lake Tahoe last year doesn't help. As of press time, NFL scouts are still pinching and prodding strong young men eager to give them millions of dollars for playing a game. Ponder paying for water. Look at the ads opposing state efforts to tax a penny per ounce, sugary soft drinks from Coke and other beverage conglomerates. Quote, 
I'm a deli owner, boo-hoo, and my customers, boo-hoo. Paid for by New Yorkers Against Unfair Taxes and other shadow fronts for Coke and other beverage conglomerates. Sales of soft drinks in New York schools alone have dropped over 88% in under three years, replaced by water, fruit, and energy drinks conveniently sold by Coke and other beverage conglomerates. Future diabetes rates may improve, and the average American will lose around five pounds per year, according to doctors weighing the tax versus falling consumption. But we're just glad that Coke and other beverage conglomerates diversified in the nick of time, then hired a bunch of lobbyists and advertising execs. News or bust. Proudly brought to you by Dave and Brad's Cock Powder. It's the original. Now conveniently packaged for dipping. Speaking of discomfort, disorders and other food news. According to a new report from the American Psychiatric Association, untreated mental disorders cost us around $70 billion annually. Yep, according to shrinks, 22% of us have mental health problems and we need to go see a shrink immediately. It's hurting the economy for Pete's sake. Go see a shrink right now for a disorder you probably don't know you have until you go see a shrink. Get to it, people. You're all sick. Also, a small group of ultra-Orthodox rabbis are claiming that lox is no longer kosher because it may have the Anasakis uh, parasite worm. Bagelwood lox-loving Jews have decried the ruling with a resounding oi. China is considering banning the eating of cats and dogs, citing pressure from groups and the reality that world leaders only eat animals that aren't cute. In defense, a hostess serving Beagle exclaimed, Dog meat is good for your health and metabolism. In the summer, it helps you sweat. Boy, Stu would disagree with that. And finally, DC is totally gay. Tuesday was the first day for marriage licenses for same-sex couples in Washington, DC. Somewhere in the nation's capital, a deeply closeted Republican senator considered his hypocrisy, whether he should divorce his wife, tell his evangelical followers, voters, and marry his handsome aide. Then he thought otherwise and started drafting a bill to keep the military's don't ask, don't tell policy and to barcode all Americans who hate freedom. That's the news, folks. Maybe we'll see you next week. Who knows?